Happy Wednesday, Facebook friends, and welcome to our Wednesday Lunch and Learn. Exciting topic today because we're talking about the July 3rd and 4th Independence Day celebrations going on in League City. I have two folks from the Parks and Recreation Department joining me today. Kenny Walsh. Hello, Kenny. Hello, Sarah. And Tara Campbell. Hello, Tara. Thanks for coming out this afternoon. Thanks I think the rain has stopped, so that's good. Let's, let's, uh, we're, we are pretty saturated, yes. so we hope this rain at least goes away next third and fourth because Absolutely. we have some important activities uh, going on. So Kenny, we'll start with the third, okay. our fireworks extravaganza. And yeah. I always I always like to tell the story because people are like, oh, they hold the third fireworks show so people can go down to Galveston or go to Kima. So the truth is when we started this a couple of years ago, three years ago, we kind of were late in the game. And when we started calling fireworks vendors, there was nobody available on the fourth because they were all booked. So we did the third, but the popularity now amongst our residents, everybody loves it on the third, so we're not changing it. We're always going to do the July 3rd fireworks extravaganza. Yes. yeah. But that's the true reason why we do it on the third. It's not all these other stories I've heard. It's because we could not get a vendor on the fourth the first year, (laughs) but now we do it on the third every year because people love it. Yeah. So tell me what's going on for our, it's third annual July 3rd. Third, yes. It's our third annual um, event. So a few changes this year. we have a new band. Okay, we have great. Andy and the Dream Sickles. Awesome. What kind of music performing. does Andy and the Dream Sickles? I'm gonna they guess. They play a little bit of everything. Really? Okay, oh, yeah. great. They play a little bit of everything. So, uh, um, yeah, coming out, they'll start playing right at 5:30. A uh, little warm up, but the event starts at six o'clock. Great, great. So six o'clock is when the food trucks open. We have 15 food trucks this year. More what than we've what ever kind had. of food are we talking here? You name it, <laughs> we got it. So um, folks can barbecue. Can, there's burgers. There's ice cream. There's, there's snow cones, of course. Cakes. Oh wow. Snow cones. There's yes, cake balls. I mean, we've got uh, we've got a good selection. So, so come hungry. You don't have to. You don't have to come Asian bringing cuisine. food. Oh yeah, wow. We've, we've you can it. totally just decide that night what what yep. your fare is. Oh, Absolutely. that's great. Fifteen yeah. trucks. Okay. Yes. Wow. Yes, fifteen food trucks. We have a kid zone. We have twelve bounce houses. Oh wow. Um, face painting, uh, balloon animals. Um, so, uh, yeah, so we've got a lot of activities. All that opens right at 6 o'clock. Right at 6 o'clock. Okay. Yes. Now, let's talk about parking okay. because when does the parking lot kind of open up and the gates open up? And I think there's one one entrance this year, right? Yeah, so we want everybody to come in off of the Walker Street entrance. Okay. And, and the exit will be off 96. There will be no access off of the 45 freeway. Okay. That will all be blocked off. All the entrance will come in from Walker. And around five o'clock is when we would like people to people can start coming. You can start in coming. You can get, get your blankets, parking get spot. Their spot get set your up. primo spot yes. at the sportsplex to and put down your blanket. It, right, right. So once that fills up, which is usually pretty about an hour, then we offer shuttle from Hometown Heroes Park. So we'll have four buses that'll be constantly shuttling, starting as early as five thirty. Okay. So if you want to go straight to Hometown at five thirty, yeah. not even worry about the lines trying to get in the sportsplex. That's a great. That's a great idea. Just just pack the family in the minivan, head yeah. on over to Hometown Heroes, right. park the car, leave it. Right. You don't have to sit in any traffic. Right. Just park there, get on the shuttle. The shuttle will drop you off, and the shuttles run constantly. So if so you decide to you leave, leave early, you can leave early, yep. and then the last shuttle leaves at ten thirty. So the fireworks will be over yes. by then, and everybody will will get back to Hometown Heroes. That's yep. a great idea. We had we did that last year, and a lot of people utilized it. I, and we're going to push it even more this year because it was our first year trying it, but it was a huge success it was but um, we still had plenty of almost half the lot was still available so there were a lot of cars trying to get into sportsplex and we had all this free parking yeah. available and easy access at hometown to shuttle people over so we encourage people to take advantage of that yeah go to hometown, um, go to hometown get, your get, spot, on shuttle, get on the shuttle and it, it constantly runs so you're not going to get stuck at sportsplex you want to leave anytime they'll you know that's good to know they'll, they'll run back and forth fireworks will go off right at nine o'clock um, and there's also vendors as well. In addition to the bouncy houses and the food trucks, there's a little bit of shopping. Yep, right? what, be kind shopping of, what, what are we talking? Just uh, different. A lot different. of variety. Um, yeah, definitely a lot of different things that w- that'll be out there to sell. So feel free to do your shopping and. Uh, um, we'll have about 20 to 25 vendors. So for those of you, site. we've gotten some last minute inquiries. We've closed off vendor spots, closed Friday. off food trucks. That happened last Friday, right? So uh, this coming this Friday, Friday. So we'll take vendor spots oh, for two more days. Oh, okay. So let me cl- let me clarify that. You, you two more days, and where do they need to reach out if they want to possibly? Hometown do- Hills Park. They could uh, contact myself or Tara. Okay. Um, and then uh, 
pending space availability. I mean, they could all be full by the time we get back today. Yeah, so, absolutely. Uh, we're getting close, so any interest, just let us know, and we'll. Uh, so call. Uh, so uh, call Hometown Heroes Park. Call the main number and ask yep. for Kenny or Tara, or just say you're interested in possibly being a vendor yep. and, at uh, the July 3rd event. And in your hand, I want to show this. This is actually a map we have available for our public. Um, so if you're on Facebook right now, if you click under our events and you click on July 3rd, this map is there. So it, it shows you everything about where to park and where the, the shuttle's going to drop off. We also, if you want to decide to do like Lyft or Uber, there's a spot where they're... Uh, and you search Sky Wonder, mm -hmm. and that's on your on your any mobile device. It can be a Sam, you know, a, a Droid or a um, or iPhone. iPhone. And um, you download the app, and then it tells you to pick a city. And so obviously you would pick League City, and so that allows you to kind of follow along um, with the music because we do have music mm -hmm. that we've picked to go with the fireworks. So you can kind of follow along, listen to the music there right at the uh, at the Sportsplex. Or if you're at home and don't you know don't make it out, you can also download the app and enjoy it that way. So, yes, yes. A lot of fun for the July third. I'm I'm yeah. excited. I think it's going to um, be a great year. Yeah. One thing I also want to mention is uh, we don't allow any tents. Oh, good. I'm so out, glad you mentioned that out on the field because we don't yeah. want to block the view of yeah. others that are out there so bring blankets bring coolers no alcohol mm -hmm. um and feel chairs free to, you can bring those little pop-up yep. little chairs chairs that are fine have. yeah blankets chairs are fine yeah um, little coolers with drinks and snacks yeah. no alcohol um what about no pets pop -up tents. no pets either. must be on leash must be on a leash okay they can but they have to stay on a leash and obviously clean up after your pets yes, of course yes absolutely but They're don't don't bring those tents i know it's it's you know they're so portable nowadays and so cheap right. you can pick one up for like 30 dollars practically right. but don't bring them cuz you're right then it blocks the view of right, everyone right. trying to enjoy the fireworks trying to see the band and, right. and all of that so well thank you kenny for you're all welcome. that awesome information so you definitely and come on out on the 3rd um, for our fireworks extravaganza but now we're switching over to tara to, because it's not over on the 3rd the 4th Yes. Independence Day. We have a lot planned on the 4th for our annual Citizen Appreciation Day. Tell me what's going on. We sure do. It's going to be from 10 to 2 at Hometown Heroes Park. 10 o'clock will be the um, opening ceremony type of thing. Um, the mayor's going to do a welcoming. We will have the posting of the colors. Our League City cheerleaders will give a little patriotic awesome. cheer. And then um, a new thing we're doing this year is a balloon drop. So oh, we're gonna have wow. a balloon drop. Yeah, How fun. to open up things. So that's gonna be very exciting. I'm guessing the balloons might be red, white, and blue. I think Is that a so. good guess? Yeah, I think that's probably <laughs> Safe bet. Good Safe bet. Yeah. <laughs> and then um ten thirty our activities will open up. Um one new thing that we're excited about this year is that we are gonna have the pool open. Oh so I'm it'll excited. be open starting at ten thirty. Yeah, absolutely. Um we also are gonna have um a putt putt thing outside. And we are going to have a dunk booth where you can dunk city council So, members. yes, let me talk about that. Yes, Last night's council meeting, um, Council Member Milliken, who's very excited about this dunking booth, it challenged all the other council members, <laughs> uh, <laughs> challenged our city manager and yes. our assistant city managers uh, to get in the dunking booth. So we have a schedule. So if you want to dunk a council member or the city manager or an assistant <laughs> city manager, there will probably be some staff members out there, too, from the city of Leak City. Yeah. <laughs> um, I think we're going to uh, charge our – nominal fee or to collect donations that will go to, to parks in League City is what, what we kind of decided on, I think, talking talking to the council and whatnot so folks can uh, – we can maybe even raise a little bit of money for park dedications or whatnot uh, in the future. So that's exciting. Come on out and, and dunk a council member yes. if you would like. Yes. Um, we're also going to have a trackless train out there. And um, another thing that we're very excited about is at 12 o'clock we're going to have a bike parade. Oh, so wow. So it's for anybody, any age. Um, it can be bikes, strollers, wagons, um, bring them out, decorate it. It's uh, going to be in the circle drive thing in front of our building. So that'll be a lot. That'll be a lot of about. lot of fun. Mm -hmm. And I want to mention, uh, it's at Hometown Heroes. Mm -hmm. This is an annual tradition of League City, our Citizen Appreciation Day. And normally it's at League Park. But um, last year we moved it to Hometown Heroes because of the rain. Right. Um, this year we're having it at Hometown Heroes because if you've been down to the downtown area, it's ripped up. Park Avenue's ripped up. We're doing some construction on the birdhouse there in the in uh, League Park. Mm -hmm. So don't don't go to League Park. Go to Hometown Heroes. And frankly, we got air conditioning inside we have the pool open i mean it sounds like we're going to have um, a whole lot of fun and i don't want to leave out the hot dogs because yes. we have two guys that work for the for the um 
Park Operations. I forget their names, and I, I'm so sorry, guys. But we have two gentlemen that have been serving hot dogs every year, and we serve thousands of hot dogs, free yes. hot dogs every year. And they take their job very seriously. Oh, yeah. um, and they are out there. Yes. What is it again? Adolph and Darren. Adolph and Darren, yep. um, who every year cook thousands of hot dogs on that grill over at Hometown Heroes and serve them up. And then I think we have um, we have popcorn. We yes. have what else do we have as cotton far as candy, cotton candy? We'll have Coke, ice cream, um, the every year staples that we have. Um, so come hungry because it's yes. all free. I yes, mean, it's hard absolutely. to believe it's all free. Um, another thing I want to mention is we're going to have a petting zoo like we oh, do okay. every year. And there's going to be um, all sorts of animals out there, pony rides. Um, we're going to have entertainment. It'll be Charles Daughtry and the Relics. Oh, and okay. And we're also going to have Lake City Symphonic Wind. Out oh, that's there. an that's a staple every year. Yes. The Lake City Symphonic Wind yes. uh, so. plays patriotic tunes, mm -hmm. and it's it's great. Yeah, so. it's really nice. So it starts at ten a.m. Ten a.m. till when? Uh, it'll be over at two. At two. So okay. Ten to two. Um, ten thirty is when all the activities will open up, and the pool will open up. So, Kenny, you actually got put in, uh, volu I'll say voluntold, volunteered to be in charge of this <laughs> both events this year because, um, you know, it's kind of been a collaborative effort the last couple of years to go to tr throw together the third. But this year, Parks and Recreation is kind of over both these events. Tell me, guys, how much work and planning has gone into to putting these events together? Yeah, it's been a lot. The fact that we're in our third year, and we've learned a lot the past couple of years, definitely helped. Now, it's still a, a huge team effort. Yeah. We're getting great support from park operations and from fire and from PD, EMS, and, and all the other departments and communications that are. Um, so it's, you know, it is really a team effort. Um, I have the staff at uh, the staff at Hometown Heroes Park and the Parks Directory staff. I mean, they could, they could run Citizen Appreciation Day almost <laughs> with their eyes closed, you know, yeah. and, and it's something that we do every year. And we learn every year. We make adjustments every year. Well, it so. seems like it's bigger and better every year. As I'm yes. hearing all the things that are added, I'm like, well, you didn't have that. The pool wasn't open last year. Yes. You didn't have this train last year. Exactly. So we're adding more things. More and more year. things so every year. Really and I know um, definitely want to give a shout out to our parks um, operations staff, Rusty mm -hmm. and the gang do an amazing job making sure um, it, I mean, the sportsplex looks fabulous. Tell me a little bit about what they do all year long. I'm amazed at what they have to do to keep that sportsplex up and running. Yeah, so there's year-round just uh, maintenance and treatment of the grass. I mean, we communicate with them really regularly on when to limit our programming so they can do uh, uh, seeding mm -hmm. and treatment of the grass. And uh, with the rain, that really affects a lot of programming. So they're ahead of the game. They're on top of it. They'll tell us ahead of time. We got this much rain, so they're telling us, what we can do a week out, two days yeah. out, two weeks out. You know, I mean, they're, they're really, they, they know the fields really well. Um, some of the fields at, at Hometown Heroes Park can sustain a little better mm -hmm. than some of the fields at Sportsplex, so they're, they're aware of that. And they, we just take direction from them, um, the knowledge and expertise that they have on the field use and to try to, you know, sustain the fields and keep them looking nice. So um, people do kind of wonder why we have to close and cancel sometimes you know if yeah. it doesn't look like it rained why are we closing the fields but but uh every field's different on, yeah. you know and, and we you know our goal is to maintain the good condition of the field long term so mm -hmm. um so that's kind of how we No, in that. fact even today we had a all staff meeting for the july 3rd event and we were talking about the field conditions and the fact that it's, it's been really wet lately yeah. um and we are keeping an eye on the weather um next week um because we we you know we don't want folks out there in the rain and so if there is a chance that we would have to cancel we would let folks know um we were just talking about it today we'll probably have a pre-meeting the day before and the day of and we'll of course put it out on social media and the website we may even probably use our swift reach notification system to let people know because this is such a popular event in our city but we do have a rain out day so if, if it, if it do. does rain it's what is it labor day labor day okay yeah. But let's, that's not going to happen. It is going to be sunny, mm -hmm. sunny and cool. Okay, that's not going to probably happen. <laughs> probably, You're asking a lot there. Probably Sarah. not. I'm pushing, um, pushing it. But at least sunny, no rain, no nightly like last year. We don't want that yeah. again. That, uh, but kudos to the staff last year for getting everybody out of there and in and, and the rain. And, 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 and people were so appreciative. I know, Kenny, you were personally driving a van back and forth to get people to their cars so they wouldn't get rained on. So. So we appreciate it. So hopefully no rain on the third, fourth, 
it's inside Hometown Heroes, so we, we, we'll do that no matter what. We may yeah. just not be able to, you know. Have to limit a few limit things. Limit a few but things, but, we'll but we're run. good. So League City, we want you to take part in these annual traditions. So much fun uh, happening in our city next week. So you can ring in and celebrate our independence, not only on the 4th, but, of course, on the 3rd as well. So thank you guys for uh, for joining me today to give us all the, the skinny and scoop on our on these events next week. As Again, Facebook friends, just click under the event section here on the Facebook Facebook page and you can get the map you can get information about the app that you can download the times you know all of that so I hope to see you out there uh, next Wednesday and Thursday the League City Love uh, Street Team's gonna be out there with our prize wheel giving away prizes and all kinds of things so I hope to see you next week but until then have yourself a great day